and welcome to my website. Creating a website through Google Sites is much less complicated for the user than using HTML and CSS to create a website. HTML is hypertext markup language, which is the formatting of a website. CSS is cascading style sheets, which is used for the defining styles of a web page. HTML and CSS require coding skills, but Google Sites mainly does the coding for you. After using Google Sites to create my website, individuals can type in the Uniform Resource Locator, or URL, into the computer's browser and will reach my website. The URL allows the computer to send information through the server to receive back the web page. The server talks in Hypertext Transfer Protocol, or HTTP, which gets requests like the request for the web page. Once the URL is reached, one can observe the hypertext markup language, or HTML, through what the page looks like. This formatting includes the headers, fonts, images, and all other components that portray the layout of my website. On my website, there is a logo and banner on the home page. To create these, I used an editor known as Pixlr. To make my banner, I picked an image related to big data. I added layers, such as text, to make it personalized. In addition, I resized the banner to be 800 by 200 pixels to fit the formatting of the website. Purpose of big data. Question A reads, indicate the name of the innovation and provide a clear description of its intended purpose either the problem that it solved, opportunity created, or discovery made possible. In this case, big data is the data collected in pieces as part of a large whole that is hard to put a handle on. It's become more present recently in society, and individuals can analyze the data, and understanding it as a society allows us to recognize patterns that would have gone unnoticed otherwise. Effects and Impacts Question B reads, explain a benefit and or harmful effect of the innovation. One benefit of public data is the ability of citizens to participate in their community and have access to an abundance of knowledge. Overall, public data really allows people to access information that they might not have had access to before. With this information, they can collect patterns and learn trends that they would have never known otherwise. Question C reads, explain the impact that the innovation has had on society, economy, and or culture. In this case, public data has great economic value in society. This is one impact of many. Thanks to public data, citizens have access to financial planning and financial history to have a better idea of what their credit can be and what it is. Question D reads, indicate one field other than computer science which this innovation has impacted or has the potential to impact. Describe the impact. Outside of computer science, public data has impacted the government greatly. For instance, the collection of daily weathered patterns allows the government to understand rising sea level levels and other environmental features that allow them to keep track of the environment and know what changes are needed to attack the problems. Question E reads, describe how a user interacts with the innovation. Users of big data can be individuals, companies, or governments as a whole. Users take components of big data and format it in a way to be easily understood where patterns can be seen quickly. These patterns and trends that come as a result of big data are then used in a variety of ways depending on who is accessing them and for what reasons. Question F reads, Describe in detail how the innovation's technology incorporates at least one of the big ideas of abstraction, algorithms, programming, and or the internet to accomplish its purpose. Since the internet has grown dramatically in recent years, big data has become much more noticeable. Certain algorithms are created that collect the data that pieces together big data. The data is collected through algorithm, 
algorithms on computers that can track the actions of computer users, and the results of these actions are collected as data to be used at a later date. The internet is often used in order to access this big data. When an individual is looking to access data on a particular topic, it's often the easiest way to use a search engine on the internet to search through different websites, therefore then pinpointing the data that they are looking for. Question G reads: Describe how the innovation consumes data as input, produces data as output, and/or transforms data. Big data is the collection of a mass amount of data that's collected separately and referred to as one large collection of data. With big data, a large sum of small data collections can be analyzed to demonstrate patterns and trends. The data is then formatted in a variety of charts and reports as a form of output. Throughout this process, the contents of the data is not really changed, but the data of one subject can be attack- attached to the data of another to result in more important data set. Question H reads: Describe at least one data storage concern, data privacy concern, or data security concern related to the innovation. With big data comes concerns of privacy. In this day and age, data is being collected that regards where people are going, what they are buying, and many other day-to-day activities. There is so much data being collected on each person, but some are not aware of nearly how much is known about their daily lives. For instance, Google is capable of access to a lot of critical information, like emails and access to searches. This graph from Statista. Demonstrates how big data is capable of being used to forecast important pieces of the market for businesses to thrive. This pie chart shows that the majority of people have heard of big data in their life. This image illustrates the advantages of one's data collection being made open to the public. When creating my website, I used a variety of references, which can be found on the references page. This one here is an example of one of the references that I used. Thank you for watching. For more information regarding big data, please visit my website at the shown URL on the screen.